Hi guys, so mum recently got back from Australia and she managed to grab me some of the new Bondi Sands tan eraser so I thought it would be a good chance to um, do a review on it. It's my first time using it so we can see how it goes. My tan has been on for five days and it's Friday today, Friday afternoon. So I'm going to fake tan tonight. I do usually fake tan on a Thursday night but I thought because it's my day off I will do it today and I can film it. So let's see how it goes. So I'm also going to insert some pictures of how dark my tan does go when I first tan so then you get a rough idea on how dark I usually go because tan on me doesn't go very dark but I thought it would be a good comparison so then I've got no makeup on so you can see how fair my face is and then how dark my neck does go because yeah it's faded now. So step number one it says for breast results apply Bondi Sands self tan eraser to dry skin after at least three days of applying self tan. Step two, pump phone applicator firmly and apply Bondi Sands self tan eraser liberally. Oh my god I can't say that word. Then it says leave the self tan eraser on the skin for at least five minutes. Step three, shower with warm water using a wet face cloth to wipe away the tan. For more stubborn areas or dry skin, use the Bondi Sands Exfoliating Mitt to gently remove the tan. So let's see how we go. So I think like everyone's tan, it always goes really patchy around your legs. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> it goes like scaly and dry and gross and I cut my legs shaving. So you can see how white or fair I usually am. That cute, okay, that's kind of gross, but it's like really dry and gross and ready to come off. So, okay, so I'm guessing you just put it on your body, like moisturizer. Oh, sounds lovely. I think this is going to be quite cold. Ah. Okay, I'm not sure <laughs> much you have to put on. Oh, okay. I think you just Ooh, it lather, lather it up. It smells like shampoo. Yeah. I don't know if I've used too much, but we'll see. that it's already like dissolving my tan off I can smell your tan it obviously brings out the smell of the tan again okay so five minutes is pretty much done this flannel is really hot I'm just gonna wipe it and see what happens This is probably not a good colour flannel to use because you can't see the tan come off. It's less painful than like using an exfoliating mitt because that takes ages and you actually have to scrub all your body for ages and it stings. It leaves your skin looking quite smooth. So you can definitely tell in my arm that like all the tan's gone. This is where like fake tan always builds up. This is definitely removed, like you can tell like it's red but that always happens. So I'm going to have a shower and remove the rest of the tan. It's my mask kind of red but my skin always goes that red anyway so it's fun but it worked really well. 
I'm gonna finish scrubbing the rest off. So I just had a shower and all the tan came off. Like, so I had to come in my room because this is like full natural light and you can actually see like my natural color. So there's like nothing left around my neck either, which is really good because it can like stick to your collarbones and stuff. Definitely 100% continue using the tan eraser, so yay!